Dean. Where are you? Huh? Where? Watch us teleport. That's really epic, David. Overwatch is fun! It's a multiplayer shooter that both me and my friends honestly enjoy playing due to its heavily cooperative and casual nature. And really, I could just leave it at that. But that wouldn't really make for an interesting video. So let's talk about one of the more controversial topics regarding Overwatch. Is Bastion OP? No. You just suck. Or your whole team is full of McCree mains who have never played Genji, Farah, Widowmaker, Hanzo, Tracer, Junkrat, or several other soft counters. The same can be said about practically every other hero in the game. Just counterpick them. But if everyone on your team picks a viable hard counter to every other hero on the enemy team, and you still manage to lose, well, there's only one thing left for you to do at that point. AMAZING! Nah, I'm just kidding. Eskimo is shit. Because Gremlin is best girl. Time to clear up some common misconceptions. Overwatch killed TF2. Uh -huh. Overwatch is just a TF2 clone with waifus. I see nothing wrong with this. Overwatch should be free to play. No, no, God no. I'm glad that it has a $40 redo price tag, because while a majority of my solo queue teammates seem to be about as intelligent as someone who suffered brain damage from a car accident, they're not as brain dead as League of Legends players. I do not want to see even more minorities shitting up this game's player base. I'd prefer they just stick to the poor man's version of this game. Not only that, but if this game were free to play, you'd probably have to buy everything, from skins to new heroes, new maps, and you probably wouldn't even get a free loot box every level. Yes, free. As in you don't need to buy them, but people still buy them in the hundreds. Even when you get them for free, just for playing the game. I'll stop with the banter now and actually talk about some legitimate issues I have with Overwatch. There is a huge lack of viable supports, or to put it more appropriately, viable healers in this game. Now, I don't have a problem with any of the healers in this game. In fact, I really enjoy playing Zenyatta, Mercy, and Lucio. The problem with healers in Overwatch doesn't lie in their inherent design, but instead in their variety. Look at every single role in Overwatch, and you'll notice that you have at least five or six heroes to choose from in offense, defense, and tanks. Whereas in support, you only have four, but realistically, only three. Cause I don't even know why Symmetra is listed as a support when she doesn't even have the ability to heal her teammates like other supports do. And without some sort of heal, what about her makes her a support then? The fact that she can give shields, her turrets, her portal? All those sound like pretty defensive abilities if you ask me. Additionally, I don't think I ever, or at least barely ever, see Symmetra played on an attacking team. She's almost exclusively used on the defending side when she's played, because her kit is just far more suited for a defensive role. I really think that Symmetra should be moved to defense. I've been saying this since the closed beta, but I honestly don't think it will ever happen. What Overwatch needs more than anything is more support heroes that can heal. Currently, most teams will either have a Mercy or a Lucio, because while Zenyatta is an overall decent hero to play, his Harmony Orbs just don't pack the same punch as a Mercy healing stream or as Lucio's constant AoE team healing. And it's a real shame, because I feel like the last person to pick a hero is always reluctant about it. And not because they don't like playing as a healer, but because they know they're going to have to play either Mercy or Lucio. Besides my issues with supports, just make it so that Mei's right clicks have more of a downward curve when shot. And make it so that her cryo freeze can be broken after a certain amount of hits, like her ice wall can. On top of that, give D.Va a little bit of a damage boost, give Winston some more armor, make it so that Roadhog can't hook people through walls, and make it so that Zenyatta can use two orbs of harmony at once, choosing to either split healing between two heroes or focus on only one. Regarding maps, I'm really just not that big of a fan of control point maps, and I feel like some maps on defense can end up in an endless chokehold but the latter really just depends on how skilled you or the enemy team is at the game. On that note, it'd be really interesting to see something like Capture the Flag in Overwatch. The only problem with it would be balancing heroes like Tracer in it. She could just grab the flag, blink away, and then you'd never catch her. The only way I'd see CTF working in Overwatch is if you limited hero abilities, made it so that only tanks could carry the flag, or if you just made general movement slower while someone was holding the flag. Now, if you weren't already aware of this, then get ready to shit yourself because this game has some extremely forgiving hitboxes. And no, this isn't on console. This is the PC version of the game. This kind of shit, it just... Hitboxes should never be this big. I understand that this is supposed to be a casual shooter designed for consoles, but does Blizzard honestly expect this game to become a competitive esport when they have hitboxes this huge and a tick rate of only 20? But, despite the fact that I'm aware of all these negative aspects of the game, 
I don't dislike Overwatch. Yes, it sounds like a massive contradiction when I say that, like I'm ignoring all the faults I just talked about, but it's the truth. The game has balance issues with heroes and maps. It always will, it's a Blizzard game, but I'm still playing it and having fun. Overwatch has shortcomings, but I really just enjoy playing a couple matches with my group of friends every day. It's a good game because it's something that me and my friends can all just enjoy playing together. 